watching News Channel 4 at 5. And we begin this evening at 5 with a forewarned storm alert. We want to head right over to Mike Morgan. And Mike, with folks already on edge from last week's storm, this latest news is not something we wanted to hear. This is what I can tell you, Kevin. We have a tornado watch till 11 o'clock tonight, and uh, the threat for damaging winds is going up here in central Oklahoma. These storms now coming in are intensifying, as well as hail up to golf ball size. They're extremely electrically active. There is one area of rotation also now forming. It's forming rather quickly in northwestern in Canadian County. So that's what we have going on. There's your chance of storms this evening. They do look likely. I would expect severe weather. Large hail damaging winds. We are under a tornado watch until 11. Severe thunderstorm warnings are in effect for Canadian, Kingfisher, Grady, as well as uh, Custer, Dewey, and Washita, and all the way back down into Caddo, Comanche, Stevens, Jefferson, uh, down through Cotton and Tillman counties. Power lines are down in Lawton right now from damaging winds that just came through. And these are packing winds, I would say, in excess of 75 miles per hour now coming into Canadian County. That is damaging winds. That's enough to down some power lines and also tear down some pretty good sized tree branches. Let's go to the storm tracker. We have a second line coming in from the, into far western Oklahoma right now. The area of rotation is southwest of Okarchi. This is damaging winds here up to 75 miles an hour, Calumet, Okarchi, El Reno, Union City, Coger, Minko. Notice it is not tornadic, but it is severe. There is one area rotation now between Gary and Okarchi. Bob Moore Chopper for John Welsh right there. John? Hey, Mike. Yeah, right now I'm just uh, pretty much over Calumet, kind of shooting out towards the west, showing you that line of uh, the, the thunderstorms that are coming in. Or what, if you could just saw that lightning right out the left, this is a very electric storm. Um, we're getting a lot of lightning flashes up here. We're shooting you kind of towards uh, the area rotation you talked about earlier. It's so hazy and there's so, you know, pretty much the moisture just all the way to the ground. We can't pick out any, obviously, definition on the ground. Haven't seen any power flashes or anything that would indicate a tornado. But at this time, there's very strong winds up here and a uh, very electric storm, Mike. John, appreciate that a lot. Let's go back to the storm tracker. So again, on this line, there's no tornado warning, at least not right now. But I can tell you the damaging winds have really come up. 75 miles an hour straight line wind. There is significant rotation. We've had a low level lock northwest of Calumet, southwest of Okarchi. Where is that heading? That is heading from Okarchi up to Kingfisher. And there is low level rotation that is quite strong right there. There's no official tornado warning. There's your time of arrival, though. Damaging winds, large hail, and a lot of lightning. Tell you what, let's go to weather show here and take a look. We have a second line out to the west. Ellis, Roger Mills, Beckham, Greer, Harmon counties, all under severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings now coming into far western Oklahoma out of the Texas Panhandle. Let's go to Mark Dillard. He is on those storms with Reed Timmer and Dominator 4. Mark, what do you have? Where are you? Uh, yes, Mike, I'm at Texola at uh, I-40 at the state line, and I've got a full-blown dust storm coming down on me right now, Mike. Uh, this gust front from this uh, these uh, cells has uh, come right to the uh, state line border here and coming in with a a lot of wind. My winds have probably gone from uh, nil to about 45 to 50, gusting to 60, uh, with uh, a lot of blowing dust. Now, this line can have intermittent pockets of circulation that uh, may try to spin down, so we're going to try to stay on top of it for you, Mike. But right now, a blinding dust storm at I-40 at the state line. Back to you. Okay, Reed Timmer, Dominator 4, as well as Mike Bennett on the second line as well. This one this one is quite severe. Larger hail up to 2.5-inch diameter, about baseball size. You heard the uh, Mark Dillard's report, a dust storm coming in across the border right now. There are tornado warnings with this line. It goes all the way back down to northwest of Childress. So you folks all up and down the uh, Texas Panhandle border, you're under severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Megan Kev coming into the metro, a lot of lightning, hail right now, up to golf ball size, winds up to 75 miles an hour. It's going to be a pretty tough, severe storm. We are under a tornado watch. As of this very moment, though, with this line coming into the metro, there are no tornado warnings, but we're tracking that very carefully. Back to you. We know you will, Mike. Appreciate that. We'll get back to you whenever you need us to. Battered but not broken, the Warren Theater is back open. 